Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Regarding the concept of prophethood, the misconception I intend to discuss today relates to the visitation of the grave of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now there is a narrative which says that a person who goes for Hajj and does not visit his grave, he has done great oppression on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He has done great injustice to him. Now this narrative is reported uh, uh, by uh, Ibn Umar radhiyallahu anhu. He says. The Prophet Muhammad said, "Qala Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 'Man hajj al bayt wa lam yazuruni faqad jafani.' The Prophet is reported to have said that he who does the hajj of the baytullah and does not visit my grave, then he has done a great injustice and a great oppression upon me. Now, on the basis of this narrative, people think that if they have to go for hajj, then they must visit the grave of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Otherwise, they would be sinners." Now, uh, first of all, it needs to be appreciated that this narrative has been recorded by Ibn al-Jawzi uh, in his uh, anthology called Al-Mawzu'at, which means a fabricated narrative. So therefore, as is evident from the title itself, that this is a narrative which has been concocted. Uh, moreover, authorities of Hadith have also discussed uh, uh, the narrator by the name of Muhammad bin Muhammad bin Numan bin Shibl and have uh, regarded him to be absolutely unreliable. And Imam Dharagutni says that he is muttahim, so therefore he cannot be relied upon. And Imam Ibn Hajar says that he's matruq, he's, he's forsaken. So we, we, we can safely say that this narrative is uh, something which, is, which cannot be relied upon in any case. And as I said earlier on, that Imam Ibn al-Jawzi has recorded this narrative in his al mawzuat which means a book, of course, which is related to narratives which have been fabricated. So therefore, we can safely say that this concept is, uh, which is based on this hadith, and this hadith itself is unreliable, and nothing can be concluded and derived from this hadith because it is an unreliable hadith. And it would be therefore wrong to conclude that if a person goes for Hajj and does not visit the grave of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, then he would be doing a great uh, oppression or injustice to him. Of course, visiting the grave of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is something uh, which believers, if they have the time, if they have the opportunity, they must go there. But saying the fact, but if regarding the fact that if a person has to go for Hajj, then he has to visit the grave of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, otherwise he would be a sinner. This is a concept which has arisen from this hadith and which I have just described and just, just uh, detailed out that this uh, is a hadith which is absolutely unreliable and therefore anything which it says cannot be relied upon. Akulu kwali haza wa staqfirullah ali wa lakum wa lisar al-muslimina wa al-muslimat.